Hey viewers, and welcome back to Let's Play Nexus The Jupiter Incident. When we last left off, stealth mission went pretty well actually, waiting for other shoe to drop. Many tears. Captain Cromwell, welcome back. Glad to see that my plan for dealing with the Gorg, um, diversion at Theta Gate proved so devastatingly effective. I'm pleased to report that my battleships are ready to fight. The Gorg's number is finally up. We're gonna blast their Epsilon station to atoms. I've equipped the battleships with energy torpedoes. They should deal with the troublesome fort shield that hampered our first assault on the base. Without a shield, the station doesn't stand a snowball's chance in hell. This will be gritty. Frontline stuff, so I don't expect you to get involved, Captain. Just stay back, provide us with cover, and enjoy the fireworks. Don't worry if it all happens too fast for you. I'll be reviewing my winning tactics in a series of lectures after the victory celebration. Okay, maybe I'm not Norbank. See, when I load my ships up with all the firepower they can possibly fit on them, I actually sometimes win, whereas... His legacy will be a giant litany of failures. In the meantime... Uh, nothing to read. So, time to... Mix things up here. Okay, so... Still got Sweetwater. Uh, let's see what we can switch around here. So we have 16 points. So we got full bubble energy shells. Let's see. Ah, new flak systems. Let's take off the laser rings. Put on laser globe. How about squadrons? One squadron left. Okay, well let's throw two squadrons of fighters on there. Let's see what else we have left. I like to keep those topped up. Should I keep the jamming shield? I don't know, maybe I might have to actually... Do we have a combat drive on this thing? We do. Okay, good. What kind of engines do we have? Okay, you're at the same speed, actually, so not much point there. Oh, you're way too expensive to actually upgrade. Oh, new energy cells. Okay, you cost four points, so let's strip one of you out and put one of you on. Confirm. Back to you guys. Plasma torch engine. Can't even afford to put that on there. Oh well. You have a deflection engine, yes. Guess I could put a plasma cell on you. That would work. And what do you have for squadrons? Full up. Okay, so. I guess that's it, so I don't have to repair or reload anything, and you've already got... Well, you still got the crappy energy shells. Okay, forget that. Undo. Alright, energy shell goes off. Bubble energy shell goes on. Two points left. Uh, you've already got the flak system on there. Plasma, oh man, your accuracy is terrible. Forget you. I think that's about it. Because you already got your cells. Well, I have no electron cells left anyhow, so it's a moot point. That's it, eh? Yep, okay, confirm. Last but not least, let's see. What have you got? Oh, I could take another energy shell off you and... off laser globe. Oh, wait, you already have laser globe. Undo. Try that again. Now, four points. Can I put anything... Do you have any other generators? Nope. 
go with a... Do you have any ECCM? No. Could upgrade your engines, your secondary engines. Oh, do you have a... Oh, I can't put a... Special drive on you, I guess. That's kind of annoying. Well, let's put a plasma cell on there. Okay. So, briefing got. No logs to read. I am Norbank. Alright. I think that should just about do it. Let the fireworks begin. That's weird. Hang on a second. Where the hell is everyone else? They discovered us. The station has activated an IP blocker. Our other ships cannot exit subspace. Ha! Crawl out of your burrows, maggots! You are all alone! Already the souls of our slain brethren circle your ship! In readiness for the impending slaughter! Three Gorg battleships have turned towards us, sir. They look rather menacing. I can camouflage the ship if you wish, Captain, and we can retreat. They gave Norbank a good spanking. Please camouflage the ship, Commander. I have no intention of running. Rear Admiral Norbank was defeated because of the station's fortress shield. For the moment, the shield is down. An active fort shield significantly decreases the effective radius of the blocking signal. That's why they have temporarily deactivated it. Great. It should stay down for a while, then. We'll sneak in and destroy the blocking device. Commander Sweetwater, do you think they're up to it? Very droll, Captain. My performance in the asteroid field gave you ample proof of my abilities. It was quite a party trick. I've got to hand it to you. Think you can manage without a beauty sleep in the lion's den this time? We've remained invisible for far longer than before. Did you change your diet? Actually, Captain, I... I have studied the rudiments of her technique and improved upon them by boosting the effectiveness of our wave amplifiers and light absorbers. In a couple of hours, the ship will be able to emulate ghost technology perfectly. If Commander Sweetwater allows me to study her implants, I can also copy those. It appears the majority are organic in origin. Captain, tell your cyber pet that my brain is off limits. I'm not having her use it as a science lab. I am not a cyber pet. I am an AI with a fully integrated personality. Sounds about right. If AI stands for anal retentive ignoramus, that is. That's enough. Angel is an essential member of our crew, Commander Sweetwater. She's just as entitled to your respect as everyone else. I won't stand for any more bickering. The duration and effectiveness of our camouflage is increased, and for now, that's all that counts. If you trust this bucket of bolts to keep us hidden, that's your business. Just don't whine that I didn't think it worthy of your attention when our cover's blown and we've got 50 Gorg missiles bearing down on us. Hmm. No, I want you to go to that guy. Affirmative. Getting really close to that one. Am I just supposed to get really close and blast the heck out of the... I guess that's the plan. I guess I should have bought more sickle gunboats after all. I'm afraid we have been discovered. Hate to say I told you so. Why can't you just leave this to the professionals? Okay, let's go defensive. 
Warning. We have been detected. Warning. Oh, that hurts. Our squadrons are under attack. Warning. We are under attack. Warning. Incoming enemy bombers. Coming for that guy? Yes, sir. I didn't realize that. I thought that ship was uh, not active. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have enough guys we to actually have a fighter. take that thing out. Warning. Fighter the IP blocker has been disabled. Target device disabled. Okay. Is wing hailing the Balthazar. Glad you made it, Rear Admiral. Cut the smugness, Captain. If you hadn't been in such a rush to exit subspace, they wouldn't have had the chance to block all our other ships. We'll talk about this later. Try to keep out of the way. Okay, so where are the other ships here? Everything's already dead, so I guess we're going after the blood feud. Yes, sir. Delta combat formation. I am on the way to the other side, aren't I? Yep. Understood. Whoa, you're getting through my... How are you getting through my hull? Enemy shield has collapsed. Already? Um... already dead. My shields are up. How are you possibly... Oh, you have bombers. So what's your status like here? cloak again. Probably not. Oh, that fortress shield is also up. That's not good. Aye, aye, sir. Time to run. Emergency. All integrity is critical. You're not even coming close to hitting those things. Watch it explode? Oh no. Oh no, we got two fighters and a bomber, so that's good. Okay, let's restart this here. Skip the briefing. Want to do something slightly different with the configuration now that we actually know what we're going up against. Uh, more gunboats, please. Wait, that's it? I guess one thing is spark fighters. Okay. Uh, so back to devices. If I want to take off those laser rings. Already got a combat drive. Can't really do anything else with three points. Already got fusion generators on it. And a weapon generator. Hmm. I guess that's about that for... Confirm it. As for you... Energy shell. Goodbye. Bubble shield. Hello. I have no electron cells to put on you, so... Done. Can I put a squadron in there? Nope, definitely done. Okay. On to you. Energy shell gone. Bubble shell on. Squadrons? Nope, okay. So. Let's uh, throw a plasma cell in there. 
All right, slightly different configuration this time, but I think it's worth saving. So with that in mind, I'm still Norbank because, you know, even with the stealth thing. And actually, as long as I'm here, I think I might have missed some intelligence on Titan base. Oh no, we've looked at this guy before when Norbank made his last attempt and totally messed up. Oh, this is new. Duplicate of the Ghost's Wave Blackout technology. Blueprint's designed for destroyer class ship. Okay, well, so far so good. Let's do it. They discovered us. The station has activated an IP blocker. Our other ships cannot exit subspace. Ha! Crawl out of your burrows, maggots! You are all alone! Already the souls of our slain brethren circle your ship in readiness for the impending slaughter! Three Gorg battleships have turned towards us, sir. They look rather menacing. I can camouflage the ship if you wish, Captain, and we can retreat. They gave Norbank a good spanking. Please camouflage the ship, Commander. I have no intention of running. Rear Admiral Norbank was defeated because of the station's fortress shield. For the moment, the shield is down. An active fort shield significantly decreases the effective radius of the blocking signal. That's why they have temporarily deactivated it. Great. It should stay down for a while, then. We'll sneak in and destroy the blocking device. Commander Sweetwater, do you think they're up to it? Very droll, Captain. My performance in the asteroid field gave you ample proof of my abilities. It was quite a party trick. I've got to hand it to you. Think you can manage without a beauty sleep in the lion's den this time? We've remained invisible for far longer than before. Did you change your diet? Actually, Captain, I... I have studied the rudiments of her technique and improved upon them by boosting the effectiveness of our wave amplifiers and light absorbers. In a couple of hours, the ship will be able to emulate ghost technology perfectly. If Commander Sweetwater allows me to study her implants, I can also copy those. It appears the majority are organic in origin. Here's a good skip all this can't I? Blah, blah, blah. I am blah, 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 blah. That's enough. If you trust it. Okay, good. We're done. Let's take the engine down here and let my batteries recharge some. Speaking of battery... Understood. Because all these guys are active, that was my mistake last time. Why are there so many heavily damaged ships around here? Wow, you're actually really, really far away. Actually, I don't realize that. With 7,500, we're still safe, right? Yeah, they're heading towards me now, though. The violence. Because subtlety. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Hang on. Affirmative. Wow, that just brought me back to red alert. Classic, like Command and Conquer red alert. Suicide mission go. Aye, aye, sir.
Yes, sir. Probably gonna figure it I'm here pretty soon. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. We have lost a gunship. Ah, that was fast. Wow, really? I had no idea what I was doing last time and it worked so much better. It makes it like you just suicide, you guys. Are you gonna get a single shot off this time? Warning. <laughs> Fighter squadron destroyed. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Wow, no you're not. Incredible. All squadrons annihilated. I don't believe that, viewers. Okay, let's load that mission here. They discovered us. Yeah, they did. The station has activated an IP blocker. Blah 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 blah. Please camouflage. And I. That. It was. Still talking. I have. Still talking. Understood. So 7,500, huh? I guess I just need to get my fighters closer to this thing's IP blocker to actually have a chance. I'm afraid we have been discovered. Oh, well, never mind. to say I told you so. Why can't you just leave this Warning. to the professional? We are under attack. Warning. Incoming enemy bombers. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Should probably actually run away from you now, in hindsight. Uh, let's see. Yep. Affirmative. Oh, Affirmative. Come on, IP blocker. We have lost a fighter. Target device. The IP blocker has been disabled. Understood. Aye, aye, sir. Understood. He's gonna run back here now. Warning. By warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Okay, head to Affirmative. Marco Polo. Angel Wing hailing the Balthazar. Glad you made it, Rear Admiral. Cut the smugness, Captain. If you hadn't been in such a rush to exit subspace, they wouldn't have had the chance to block all our other ships. We'll talk about this later. Try to keep out of the way. Delta combat. You guys actually need to launch and... No. You guys need to launch and defend the angel wing. Understood. Formation. All squadrons annihilated. Yes, sir. 
The port energy low. Whoa, Device what the heck powering is that? down. Emergency. Hull integrity is critical. Enemy Did you just hit me with a collapsed. sealed siege laser? Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Enemy squadron destroyed. Yeah, you did. Huh. Okay. Well, viewers, I'm going to need a second or two to think about this, and I'll be back once I actually have some kind of strategy. See you in a bit. Hey, viewers. So we're just dropping here mid-mission. Well, actually, more like the beginning of the mission, but... I gave it some thought. I even tried it a couple more times, and I managed to get the IP blocker down, but really there's just no secret, it seems. Sometimes they open fire on me with a siege laser, and sometimes they don't. Aye, aye, sir. So with that in mind, we're just gonna... hopefully get lucky. Affirmative. Understood. And basically pray that they manage to drop the IP blocker. Now, what I'm trying to do this time is stay hidden and avoid Warning. eating that siege Our laser in the are face. Under attack. We have lost a gunship. The IP blocker has been disabled. Hang on. As long as you guys are there. Okay, so it's out completely. Can you guys target the fortress shield? Angel Wing hailing the Balthazar. Glad you made it, Rear Admiral. Cut the smugness, oh, Captain. Gunship if you hadn't been in such a rush to exit oh, subspace, they oh, wouldn't have had the chance to block oh, all our oh, other ships. We'll talk about this later. Try to keep out of the way. Delta combat formation. That's a... Oh, okay. This time, that's a real ship. All right, so let's drop shields on that guy. Yes, sir. Let's go... Uh, let's stay stealth, but we'll keep heading that way. Aye, aye, sir. Warning. Incoming enemy bombers. Enemy shield has collapsed. Excellent. Okay, so you guys destroy hull on. Yes, sir. Hopefully, it will not last too long. It's lasting quite a while. That's unfortunate. Yeah, they're definitely trying to take me out with that fortress laser. Um, keep moving. Affirmative. And guard the. Understood. Warning: Our squadrons are under attack. Should go down pretty soon. Enemy squadron destroyed. But you still up Enemy and about. Squadron destroyed. Target hit. That thing's not a threat. Affirmative. Let's go for that guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Calling all battleships! Reload your energy torpedoes! Target the fort shield! Fire! 
It's actually quite a cool show. Enemy squadron destroyed. Still doing its thing though, isn't it? That was one of theirs. Definitely not one of theirs. Come on, guys, focus fire here. Complete. Okay, so if you want to drop the hole in that guy. Aye, aye, sir. Another Gorg ship goes sailing by. That's a really amazing detail, at least, I have to say. What's your situation? I am Lieutenant Morris. We have sustained serious damage, sir. Several of our officers are injured on the bridge. Rear Admiral Norbank has lost consciousness. Captain Munchinson is not responding to hails. Calm down, down. You have to help. Captain, please, take control of the fleet. Copy that, Balthazar. Fall back. Ooh. Sir? Uh, okay. Get falling back. Oh wait, the fortress shield is down. Hang on, that means that if I send in all my guys, I mean all my guys, Attention all ships, this is Captain Marcus Cromwell of the Angel Wing. Rear Admiral Norbank has been incapacitated. I'm taking temporary command. Beware, Troy. The mighty Achilles is banging at your gates. I think he's being sarcastic. Also, you're not firing everything you have at that guy. Power shields, please. We have lost a fighter. Probably. Why is this thing shields not down yet? We have lost a fighter. Enemy shield task complete. Finally, okay. Kick the hell out of that thing. Yes, sir. Target sir, device. the fortress shield has collapsed. We have lost a bomber. We have lost a fighter. Absolutely not worried we about that right now. We have lost a gunship. Destroyed. 
I'm looking for the courage to die. Warning, warning. Oh, God, Our squadrons Wait, no, are under no. attack. We have lost a fighter. Okay, everyone else. Understood. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understood. Understood. Aye, aye, sir. Understood. Yes, sir. Understood. Yes, Probably sir. Probably that faster Understood. by just, uh, not hitting every single ship like that, but... Has collapsed. You can't we have, have much less than you. We have lost the gun target. Ship is being you evacuated. Violence is down. Courage is down. Pretty good, except the Balthazar. Courage the Plague of the Feral down. Drop the shields on the glory. Yes, sir. Enemy sheet task complete. We have lost a gunship. Affirmative. Destroy the glory. The bomber, enemy squadron destroyed. If you'd be so kind. Look at that. We have the Got him in. Enemy shield target ship is being evacuated. They do not give up when they start fighting. Aye, aye, sir. We have lost a fighter. I also like to note you're fresh out of ships to put in your. Target uh, ship is being evacuated. Okay, so let's throw missiles on, yes. Torpedoes, you're out. Is there an artillery? Ah, that's what I wanted to see. Artillery range, please. Yes, sir. You don't have artillery. You also don't have artillery, okay. Good save mid match here, but wow, you have a lot of weapons on that thing. Okay, man, I don't know where to get started. Um, fusion generator. I think I should blow that up. Don't really have a lot of other things left, though. Let's see some of that artillery in action, shall we? Whoa, you are totally going in there, huh? How about you run away, actually? Aye, aye, sir. Because I'd rather go in with these guys. Because I know they can probably take it. Affirmative. That artillery is doing some serious damage. Warning, we are under attack. Got 
That's pretty awesome, actually. You know what, Angeline, get in there. It's a waste not to have you shooting at that thing, and you've got really awesome shields that can take that kind of abuse, so... Probably get out of here. Affirmative. Your shield's looking kind of low. So we got plenty of damage coming in on this thing now, anyhow. Yes! Pulled it off. Disable the IP blocking device, destroy the Gorok Station. Eliminating the Gorok Station was a very important step in our offensive. Now we can create and secure supply routes. Destroying the base has proven far more costly than we first anticipated. Though the Aatrox systems are human control, it would be foolhardy to expand further. We'll commence negotiations. Alright, check it out. Metal. Order of Nova, Golden Grade. For conspicuous gallantry and, and intrepidity in action against enemy Gorg forces in the second battle for Epsilon Gate on September 12th, 2112, participating in the attack against the enemy Gorg battle station, Captain Cromwell destroyed the station with bold determination despite the vastly superior enemy numbers. He managed to disable the IP blocking device of the station by expertly utilizing the special features of the cruiser Angel Wing, which allowed the other units of the fleet to commence the attack on the station. Commanding his ship with skill and daring, he also destroyed the fort shield the enemy station, and then he oversaw a significant part of the elimination of the Gorg forces. Yeah, I did. That's what, two... two destroyers? I know those were tons of fighters, but... 62 torpedoes spent. Nice. Well, that's a win. The Black Moon is no longer the focus of my dreams. It has become a backdrop for cannon fire exploding ships and stations. The visions grow more intense as I travel farther away from home. Home. These days the word has a hollow ring to it. Am I right to let events sweep me along like this? But I cannot indulge in such thoughts. At this stage, even a small lapse in attention could cost millions of lives. Billions. This is no time to lose my resolve. We drove the Gorgs from the Aatrox system and seized control. We have plans to erect another fortress station. If ceasefire negotiations prove fruitful, we may usher in a more lasting peace with the reigning clan. Unfortunately, this will not guarantee complete stability. The Vardrags have warned us that the Gorgs are far from unified when it comes to political matters. Conflicts between clans are common and the ruling clan's authority is not absolute. Clans that declare themselves renegades are free to attack ships that stray into their systems, ceasefire or no ceasefire. Inevitably, this schism means that many more lives must be risked and lost. Rear Admiral Norbank has promoted me to Commodore and has placed the heavy cruiser Avalanche under my command. This allows him to send me on highly perilous missions in the most fiercely contested sectors. I should have guessed there would be a catch. Working with Commander Sweetwater and the Ghosts, we operate as a quick response unit. Our duty is to support reconnaissance missions, protecting the Ghosts, and reacting to incidents on the bloody and mutinous frontier. The importance of our role is matched only by the phenomenal risks involved. I can only hope that Angel is correct, and that somehow, 
Our actions will prove to be steps on the path to our ultimate goal, the liberation of Earth. As for the ghosts, they're fascinating company, really. I feel a sort of adolescent pride that the ghosts have chosen me as their partner, even if this was mainly down to luck. Their liaison officer, Commander Sweetwater, is almost as difficult to handle as the ghost scouts themselves. At least I don't end up sparring with the latter on a daily basis. Given the extent of her abilities, I feel Sweetwater's arrogance is forgivable. Perhaps we cannot really consider her human anymore. She spent a long time in Mist, the ghost's system, and they have altered her, both anatomically and mentally. She has capabilities the average human can only dream about. I must confess that I envy her at times. Like Angel, she is both my closest ally and a distant enigma. Okay, I think we'll skip the briefing here. So that was... Wow, it's been a while. So the last log was... Yeah, September 6th. I guess it's only been a couple days. Eight days. But, something else to play with. Still a rookie crew. David Cole. Did not talk until he was five. Weird. Okay, I might as well go through this part here. Didn't talk until he was five years old. No organic reasons. He was a reserved, disciplined child who always demonstrated a serious interest in weapons. His father was a Navy officer and encouraged his child's fascination with technology, hoping to bring him out of his shell. His efforts bore fruit. He was talking on the telecom one day with a fellow officer about a weapon that was going to be introduced soon when young David Marston announced Dad. The DK-626 energy cells are too weak for the Diamond Spider. Neutron accelerators and thermal regulators sap a lot of energy, so you should use at least DK-912 cells. I guess they're going to settle with the new XL-1000s. Eventually, David Cole became a Navy officer. His crew learned to interpret his short orders and know only to ask him about weapons if they have at least 10 minutes to listen to his answer. So, 212. 211. No military technology at all. Medals. Ah, but a full refit. Excellent. A well-armed craft that almost matches a battleship in size. It has eight, oh, six weapon slots with availability for two heavy weapons. Note, weapon generator cannot provide energy for all of them. It has facilities for deploying gunboats. Flash fighters and cyborg squads. Huh. Okay. They completely got rid of our old energy shells. Okay. Blinder. Blind enemy sensors. Laser globe black. Combat. Oh, more generators. Okay, this is gonna take some. I might have to hold off on upgrading all the weapons. We'll upgrade the basic systems first, but that's for next video, I think, viewers. For now, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Nexus: The Jupiter Incident. See you then.